Chapter 3 with the Super Squad, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. Grave discomfort has been nothing but comfortable for us as we continue to ease along through Chapters 1 and 2. Chapter 3, of course, likely to provide quite a bit more difficulty, but this team's been doing pretty damn good. Not to mention, I feel like they're pretty well built for the Chapter 3 boss. The Flagellant, of course, with Toxic, going to be able to take advantage of the additional Blight uh, applications. And then we got Taunt up front, although, of course, the Taunt is less useful in that final fight now. In fact, borderline negligible. Just going to have to do a lot of uh, enemy enemy movement, most likely. I think you can move those eye stalks, right? I was thinking maybe we could do some demons pull and bring them up into the positions we're looking to have them in, but we'll see. We'll see what we can manage to do. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Rocking that new Ravager skin for the Hellion, too. Love that look. Got some strong uh, starting items yet again. And finally remember to uh, the equip them the before the first passed. fight. Look at me go. We'll go with the clenching claws on the occultist here. Make that abyssal artillery even better. A chance to stun on that bad boy. And then the additional debuff piercing, of course, going to be outstanding for him as well. Unlock the scrap grenade and the triage kit. Pretty fantastic combat items. And then a decent stagecoach setup to begin with here as well. Not too shabby, dude. We are still rocking the uh, Algal Bloom here, unfortunately, too. I need to make the hospitals a, a bigger priority with this lot, especially uh, preceding chapters four and five. We're going to need every advantage we can get. This is the clause applied to the attacker. Oh, did I misread that? You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, this would be much better suited for the flagellant. Yeah, my bad. I thought this was on hit. Yep. Oh, that's on hit. That's for fucking sure. Come on up, then. Got a little combo going early on in here. Let's get the taunt ready. Let's remind ourselves how this team is properly played. Also need to get to the damn howling end, I'm realizing. She is missing that skill. I feel like that would be a pretty strong upgrade for her. Wicked Hack has been nice and all, but... We know she can be a lot better than this. Heck, Ravager alone is... Gonna provide a real nice howling end. We'll probably make her the priority for the shrine. She might even actually be the only one left to get any skills, right? Yeah, she is. Well, makes that choice even easier then. If not forcing it. It always feels good to just delete an enemy right away, doesn't it? Fine way to start things off. Fine way to get our spirits high. Yeah, go ahead and make sure, although I guess that was completely useless. This does feel weirdly slow for the first fight, but I can't, I can't keep basing my entire theory of our success on this as tempting as that is their solutions even the big ones ah fuck it why not sure i can let's be dramatic we got a 37 damage crit on this zombie flawless run upcoming is gone let it die i'm never gonna make a single other mistake through the course of this entire run count it book it mark it Clip it, ship it. There we go. There's the drama. Oh, right. I already made a mistake. <laughs> well, not yet. Not technically. I didn't immediately unequip and re-equip the trinket. Much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. I'm willing to forgive myself for that, I guess. All right, where are we headed? Every road a winding torment. Yes, please. Every turn bent on our destruction. Early sprawl. The gauntlet here, which is really not that bad, actually. Triple resistance encounters. I could probably welcome some early fights here. Emancipation, a fine starting trinket for our flagellant. Another nameless city. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. 
Might as well equip the Fetter Almanac since we don't have anything else to equip at the moment. Double Hoarder Location Scouting and double the Trinket Selection at the Hoarder along with the Ice Box for additional quantity of looted food. Bolt it on and be off. The mountain will not be denied. We've unlocked the Corpse Light for this particular run. Minus 20% max HP and minus 33% traveling heal. Weaken on combat start guaranteed. Yikes. Additional de uh, disease resist until next in. I, does this mean that it only counts for the first region and then it goes away? That's rough. I am going to rock this, though, for the additional 5% Candles of Hope. Despite the fact that this definitely feels like a much more difficult Infernal Flame. But let's give it a go. The Crimson Tick returns. Hatchling Crocodilian again, or the Pygmy Pliskin this time. Additional healing received per medical gear item equipped, and then a random heal after each location. That's pretty nice. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. I'm going to be real with you, though. The Crimson Tick, especially compared to these two, I just it, it just feels like the best one by far. I think i got to roll with that again. Ooh, an immediate greater sharpness charm. I think that's a necessary purchase right there, man. Such power in such a little thing. Plus 40% damage Ravager Hellion. That was easy. Thanks. Let's buy some food. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. Let's get a couple dart boards, I guess. Maybe the whiskey flasks. What do the hero goals look like today? Let's see if there's maybe any items we need to buy. Hellion's looking to land the killing blow on the shroud boss. That's fairly unlikely. Visit two academic studies, land the killing blow on gentry, land the killing blow on swine. Okay. Can do. I feel safe in getting these. Is there any chance we want to roll the dice on the meditative totem here? Light sensitive is pretty bad, but we're already starting off with a weakened token anyway. I don't think I care that much about it. I might just save the rest of my relics. But these are good. Let's, let's call it good for now. Keep everybody in a neutral state. 0% relationship chance here at least, so I don't have to worry about anything bad. Time for the Crimson Tick. It cannot fight, but perhaps it can calm. Here comes the Crimson Tick. Have I not done that yet? I should be doing that every time. Lich Queen Rising will join us as our Crimson Tick today, along with Shane the Merchant as our stagecoach. Lich, Lich Queen. Lich Queen seems like a good tick name anyway. I did it. Look at me go. I remembered. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. Let's see. Was Lich Queen the tick again? Uh, oh, really? That's hilarious. I'm not going to fight Mubot, dude. Mubot decides. I just follow. I do what the bot decrees. So congrats, Lich Queen again. That's seriously rigged. Yeah, if that's the case. I'm kind of tempted to go with the upgraded Consecration here. Hmm. Iron Swan with the combo is really nice. Acid Rain upgrade has been good. Oh, more and more, though. I wish this added one more token. Maybe like a block or something. The increased heal just doesn't really seem worth it. I don't think that's necessary. Vulnerability Hex is actually pretty tempting. I was using that a lot. He's got the additional debuff piercing right now. A strange starting upgrade, to be sure. I'm going to give that a chance. Am I really using ministrations all that much? Enough to justify its continued inclusion. What if we did try Sanctuary for a little while? Let's see how that goes. Mix it up a little bit. 
Ooh, it's a stress heal as well on upgrade. That's not bad. Really mixing it up today, huh? Okay. Okay, bear. Let's give that a go. Yeah, we could use some more stress healing on this team for sure. All right. There's that disease resist kicking in. Does he have something giving him... Is it the Scourge? What's giving him the additional disease resist right now? The buff. Oh, that's from the Infernal Flame, isn't it? That's right. Well, that was timely. Glad I equipped that in the right order. I'm a genius. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, lost HP for sure. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. Is there anything else I want to bring along? We could go for that totem. Laudanum's not a bad early investment either. Actually, we could do this. Yeah, that feels good. Okay. Strong start. We'll keep these just in case we can use them later on. Of course, we do have a totem already. I forgot about that. Yeah, let's do it. I'm ready. Time for the sprawl. And a whole bunch of early resistance encounters, ideally. Maybe we can stockpile some mastery points. We'd definitely love to see a hero shrine early on as well. Behold. The great cities of man. Mm. Ruined and aflame. Don't love that. Bonus candle on the left. A renewal. Welcome back. Yeah, I guess that's the way we go. Think carefully. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. Below sea level. Thanks for the 15 months, bear hugs, please. Welcome back into the pile. Appreciate it. Super early lair here. Yeah, that is probably not going to happen. Ooh, vulnerable token. Nice. How fragile they appear. After making fun of my boyfriend for playing Bioshock and his inability to dual analog well, his 14-year-old picked it up last night and was giving it a try and said, this game is creepy. I haven't the heart to show him some of the other games I have. I, to be fair, Bioshock is creepy. That's a freaky deaky game. It might have a lot to do with my inherent... Not philosophobia. What's the, what's the Fear of the Ocean one? Is that it? That might be it. It's spooky, dude. That's the one? That's the one. Where did you go, bear? That's scary. You never know what lies in the deep. I mean, that's why I can't play the freaking Subnautica expansion, man. It scares me too much. Straight up. I'm too spooked. Bottom Little Nightmares 1 and 2 as well. So I get less scared of Little Nightmares than I do of... Things like Bioshock and Subnautica. That's easier to handle. Alright, no stress healing coming from this. Let's go for the uh, Consecration up front, I guess. You played Dredge! Yeah, that was pretty uncomfortable for quite a bit of it. Thankfully, at no point in Dredge did I have to go under the water. You can probably see, though, in several moments throughout the course of that playthrough... I was feeling fairly uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, I've gone on record multiple times saying if you ain't afraid of the ocean, you're just you're just a dumbass. Ocean's scary, dude. The ocean wants you dead. The ocean don't give a fuck. Amidst the spoils. An artifact of unparalleled power. Early snappy swig. The loathing abates. You don't say. Additional burn dealt, of course, is really only going to be beneficial on our judgment from the Vestal, but 
Eh, maybe we can get to that speed bonus at some point. Not like there's a drawback anyway. Speaking of which, there you go. Well, there is a drawback to that one, I guess, but we'll take it. Did we get a blood already? Oh my god, that's lucky. I've heard of Joel spottings in the ocean, yeah, so you gotta be careful of that. Early, early lair here. This is just asking for disaster. But to be honest, this is a team that is pretty capable of dealing with the Librarian. Got a lot of back rank damage. It's really when he's in that third spot that it's going to be most problematic. But if we could set up a Toxic to go up against this guy, it would work pretty well, I think. I'm going to strongly consider it, depending on the loot. We'll probably go through at least the first two waves. Especially if this is going to be the first one. The library burns. And with it, the remains of philosophy, reason, and insight. Zero damage off the weak and love to see it. Yeah, I think this, uh... This start at least bodes pretty well. Just gotta try to minimize the stress impact here. Best we can. You know, we certainly need to be taunting more too with that clenching claws in play. It's just that damn acid rain is too tempting. The slow suffering begins. Why they start with the weakened token? That's a result of our infernal flame we've got equipped right now, which I could show you, but the stagecoach isn't available here, so I'll do that after the fight. But effectively, it's just a guaranteed starting. Weakened token for everybody, unfortunately. It's gonna be tough. Ooh, probably wanna just go ahead and battlefield medicine or oh yeah, right, we don't have a plague doctor. What am I talking about? Silly bear. Could go with a regen though. Yeah, rocking that corpse slide, Ozzy. I thought it'd be easier than the first infernal flame, but it's actually been kicking my ass. It seems scary. Those effects are like I mean, the permanent combat start weakened. That's just... That's just a huge pain in the ass. And then... What was it? Minus 20% max HP or something like that? Yeah, it's it's not fucking around. Those are some serious disadvantages. Ministrations does indeed cure all DOT. Yeah, so I suppose that'd be incentive to put that back in the mix, wouldn't it? Uh, revelry? No, it's not gonna work. Eh, whatever. I get a stress heal off that. One less obstacle in our path. I could do deathless here. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. He's gonna burn to death already, after all. That'll do. Trying to utilize that upgraded vulnerability hex a little more often here as well. Let's see what the second phase provides. What do you think? What do you think? Are we doing this again? This this just like a daily thing now, I guess. Okay. I just get used to you yelling at the boxes in here. Huh? Nom nom nom. That's your grandma, puppy. That's your grandma wagging her tail. She was. I promise. Ugh. Silly babe. Well, that's not as easy. This this might even be a little challenging here. Let's see. Let's go with uh, another consecration up front, I guess. Abyssal certainly seems good. Combo, nice. Man, yeah, that is going to be very effective. Love to see that. Thank you very much. How's this team do the Chapter 3 boss? Very well. I know it may not seem that way. We're going to make it work. Eh, it's probably that, yeah. Nah, it's going to happen. We're going to use Toxic to the fullest extent of the law. This flagellant's going to do work. 
But again, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Just try to make the rest of them as formidable as possible up to that point. Eh, endure? I kind of want to do that here, yeah. Compassion quiets the howling mind. Make sure everybody's in decent shape prior to the end here. I believe we've unlocked all the occultist skills. Yeah, we definitely have. So just the Hellion skills left to unlock. and certainly going to pursue that today. Absolutely. The fiend's strength dwindled. They're optimal. I just want to see readout available from the librarian fight here one more time. So I'm just trying to will that into existence real quick. Ah, damn it. Charred Litany, that sucks. The unabridged edition, I mean, that's not... That's not awful, but the rest of this loot is pretty garbage, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this isn't even worth it. Let's just... Let's just bail. Not worth. Sorry, not this time. But the content bear, I know, usually... Usually that's a sound argument, but today... With the super squad? I don't think so. Yeah, keep these you folks alive. So that others may flee. Alright. Keep an eye on those block tokens. Trying to maintain the traveling heal at least. And we're certainly taking the fight. Rid the land of this creeping stain. Content is you grand slamming all the bosses. I, well, oh, you're okay. You're referring specifically to the end bosses, though, Ray. I thought you were ribbing me again, and appropriately so. But yeah, I agree. That's where the real content lies. The content ends once I make that sort of foolish choice. Slash the content begins upon making those foolish choices. Oh boy. That's confusing, isn't it? Also, that was silly. Definitely realizing how silly that was. I saw an opportunity for stress healing and I leapt at it. Uh, let's see. She's already basically dead. Let's just go ahead and let that play out on its own. Set up a wicked hack. And regen. Is anything less than maximum HP for everybody is an abject failure. Aren't you the content creator here anyway? I mean, that's, that's a fair point. What I choose to create is there for the content. Can't argue with that. I, I, I think we might be watching the content right now. This is it. Oh, snap. How exciting. I like this content. Oh, I like the content. I like the content where it all goes my way. Yeah, that's good content right there. Yes, finally! Oh my God, I've been waiting for this. Yay! Death has come to claim her elusive prize. Oh, baby. <laughs> Speaking of content, analysis Woo! is the natural prelude to action. Oh my god, yay. It's death. So now we finally know how this happens. Well, I don't actually. It just sort of it seems like it was random. I thought it would be uh like after the fight like on the road or something, but no, she just shows up. This is the first time I've seen this. Yeah, and again, don't tell me exactly how it shows up. I'm not asking. I was just speculating out loud here. Really not a fan of this. <laughs> the stroking of the scythe. Extremely upsetting. Otherwise. Oh boy. Headstones. Can move those. Death itself has heavy bleed resist. Can be stunned. 
Ooh, we've actually got a setup for a uh, judgment burn here, too, although the Dodge Plus certainly making that more difficult. This seems wise. Should probably go ahead and do that. All right. Worth a go. Memento Mori. Stunning the flagellant right away. Okay. Weakening curse seems fine by me. Could go for a consecration, I suppose. I don't hate that. Soul Reaver. Oh boy. Really gonna have to have flagellant, unsurprisingly, I guess. Yikes. Whoa. What can we learn upon Welcome closer inspection? Memento Mori applies the massive debuff to the Flagellant's Death's Door resistance. <laughs> Holy hell. All right. Lenity. Grace. Small acts that drive back in the dark. Randenko. Thank you for the prime. Up into the pile. Give him some bear hugs, please. Shadow of death. The slow suffering begins. Clenching claws, stun death. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Got a second lot in them there too to cure the horror. Big wicked hack, very nice. Another huge bleed, that's pretty unfortunate there. I do have a triage kit conveniently. And you know what, fuck it. Bring it on, you're gonna hit me anyway. I might as well welcome it. Vulnerability Hex, that's a little much. Let's go for the, uh, the combo here. Good to have you, Ran. Nice judgment shot. We're doing pretty good here. Waning Crescent. Another stun off the Clenching Claws. Wow. Plus 50% damage if target is bleeding. Okay, okay. This is going really good for us, though. Really fortunate results. Captain S'mores. Thank you for the two months. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Clenching claws. Yeah, doing work for us here for sure. An interminable conflict. Very pleased with that. 21 damage from the Hellion. That'll do it. Death, death on Death's door. Mm. Death by sheer force of will. Not today. Crush that fight. Wow. An Three mastery. Still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. And death's head. Speed, stealth, and stress heal on entering death's door. That is an outstanding trinket for the flagellant. That is incredible. Holy shit. Yay. Ah, oh, such a cool trinket. Yeah, that was my very first death encounter. Let's go for the... Uh, oh, the speed's not going to quite be there, unfortunately, for the snappy swig. Could it be on someone else? It could be. That would reach 8 speed on the Hellion. If I were to switch combo trinkets here, if we did something like this... And that's really good. She can sacrifice the HP, too. But then melee skills. Who's going to benefit from that? I guess the occultist. No, not really. Yeah, I don't know if the crit's better than plus 40% damage. I think I'm with you on that. Unfortunately, that's definitely looking like the way to go. So we're just going to have to try to find some speed from somewhere else. For now, I guess we'll just deal an additional burn damage. From the snappy swig. What's your opinion on the Vestal now that you've got access to the Flagellant? She's still great. Honestly, I think they complement each other. Regen on the Flagellant is outstanding. Uh, I guess I'd rather have a little crit chance there. No need for the Protectorate anymore. Nice. Looking good. I don't really have enough for the Hoarder, I don't think. I'd rather do the Watchtower anyway. Get a little more information for the rest of the region. We do have a hospital coming up in a little bit. 
I'm just going to go ahead and miss every pile if I can. If y'all don't mind. Alright, let's see what we get. Centuries of human learning and achievement ruined by riotous contempt. What's the region goal again? Oops. Whoopsie. To be honest, that's okay. Because these two, I, I know it sounds a little bit like copium, but these two trinkets are actually better than that one. So we weren't going to use that anyway. That's fine. Hero Shrine, yay! A simple choice. At least it should be. Let's go finish off the Hellion. Yet another mastery point. Oh my god, that was impactful. I lived. And we are going to maintain the stagecoach condition at least all the way through the end of the region here. Let's do it. Ooh, that relationship's looking sour. Okay, don't start with the stress heal again, as tempting as that is. Let's clear a block plus. And that is better, isn't it? Yeah, he's got zero debuff resist, too. This sets up a real nice-looking iron swan. Yeah, that'll work. Let us hope to finish this quickly. One down. Ooh, double blind. Yikes. All right. Right there for me. That's the target. The amount of benefits we're getting from this. I really need to taunt almost every fight. At the start of almost every fight. It is super valuable. The debuff applied, self-heal, damage taken away from other team members. Incredible value. Love that skill. And before second death encounter. Yeah, we get we get no death for the first eight flagellant runs and then three consecutive fights. She's trying to make up for lost time. I think we have that up again here. The uh, flagellant taunts. We'll go ahead and pop that one more time. Keep the combo coming for the Wicked Hack. Let's see, 9 to 18, 9 to 18. That'll do it. A simple variable, easily resolved. Certainly don't want to allow for a toxic trigger here, but I'm feeling okay. I think right after this, we'll go for a Sanctuary on him, a little stress healing. See ya. One more combo. Good, dude. Good to go. That is a great name for the skill. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. More, more! Eh, no stress, I guess. I could stall for a revelry here, actually. I kind of like that. Let's do it. Now, I can't sanctuary again. That'd be nice. Vestal is a Wanderer. Flagellant is the Scourge. Which I have enjoyed quite a bit. Yeah, we're just doing a revelry and then he can do whatever he wants. A little bit of stress healed at the end of the day. Burn resist. Very nice. Looking good. See you later. Bear, can you turn up the music by 8%? The sound effects are so loud, I can barely hear the atmosphere. Only because you provided such a specific request will I honor it. But now I have to decide what exactly represents 8% increase on the music. I think it's that. Now that was very clearly nine, Bear. If you could just move it back a single pixel. Oh, that was way too much. Oh, God damn it! Right there, perfect. Nailed it. 
Train time. Filling out that he uh, Hellion skill set. Finally with the Howling End. So, we are resisting those weakened tokens. In fact, maybe we should build around that if we can? I've already got several very good trinkets equipped, though. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to want to prioritize debuff resist over anything else, so maybe not. But it is nice, at least, that there's a chance that they won't be applied. That'll help out a lot. Sheesh, Hellion. On to the next. Even with the weakened. Still a monster. Howie. Now. I keep regretting not having ministrations available. I think I might actually have to re-equip that, although the sanctuary has been good too. Sanctuary has had value. This dude just can't be touched. Yeah, speaking of which, there is comfort in company. I do feel like that's a good play. And the general lack of stress healing on this team does make that a higher priority for sure. Lost my memoried Hellion with Bloodthirsty and Vicious last night. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, that's a super Hellion for sure. That reminds me of our uh, of our bounty hunter from yesterday. That was an absolute monster. Let's see here. No heals available. I guess we're just going for the judgment. So be it. That bigger burn is pretty nice, actually. Upgrade from the snappy swig isn't... It ain't nothing, I guess, you know? Definitely gonna need a little heal here. Not quite the threshold, really. My god. All right. No deathless either, I guess. Let's just do this. Keep on healing, buddy. The DOT's not quite there either, unfortunately. No need for revelry. I guess we just kill it. So be it. Now we can heal, right? This road cannot be walked alone. Ew, that stinks. This is a pretty bad situation to conclude the fight in, to be honest. I think I might want to try to fix this, but I don't know if I'm really going to get the chance. I don't think she's even on the... Th oh, okay. Well, there we go. That'll work. It's something. She can self-heal. Good enough. Bear, what's your favorite token in this game? I want a good answer. I mean, pain is pretty good. Let's take a look at the glossary. What is the best token? Corpulent. That's pretty great. Don't leave me. The most fearful of the tokens, maybe. Toxic is up there. I'll go with Toxic. For what it represents, the possibility of new things. Also a huge Britney Spears fan, right, too? That, too. Said even death suffers cowards and fools. Five. The great emptiness. I hear that. Lore! Alone and untethered, she wandered the countryside, fighting for sport and soaking her wounds in wine. She sought death at every turn, desperate for a second chance to prove her mettle. But it seemed even that terrible wraith had forsaken her. Her isolation was absolute. Her shame barely concealed by a fragile facade of fearlessness. Good alliteration. 
Did you know Corpulent originally had a different sprite during early access? I didn't know that. That's a fun fact. I'm going to immediately equip both of these skills. I'm very excited about that. No need for toe-to-toe, -to -toe, really. I haven't been using that at all. Although, honestly, I think I might rather have that than bleed out. But I really don't want her to be taunted. I might even keep both of her self-heals equipped. Although that, of course, means that she has no way to clear the winded. But she doesn't have a way to clear it right now anyway, so... F it. Let's go. Hit it, Zippy. One last... Wheel removed. And the rampart. And we got six slime mold. Hooray. Oh, bloodlust will clear the winded. True. Not enough to make me want to equip bloodlust, though. I think she'll be fine, honestly. I feel like most of the fights will be uh, over before winded becomes a factor. And it all the weakens that time, sadly. And a blind. Wow, shit. Well, start with that. I think it's time for a scrap grenade. And let's pull the altar forward. No, let's pull the chair up. See if we can take him out first. I like the more and more to begin with. And Consecration on the Hellion is going to do work for sure. In fact, we'll probably upgrade that in the next end here. Make those howling ends even more devastating. Yeah, apparently changing the hero path is something you're able to do here. I'm just still paranoid to do it because I'm worried that it's going to affect the... Uh, affect the achievement for some reason. I suppose really the only way to find out if that's true is to try it. But I certainly don't want to do that on our first go here. That's that's an experiment for later, Bear. You absolutely can if you want. All right, I, I believe you. I'm just still paranoid. Big chop. Now nah, let's go for the howling in. 18 to 32. Goddamn. That'll do it. This is going well. Reason to be optimistic. Love to see bone weaving. Love to see him waste a turn. Taunt, of course, definitely complicating things here, but we do get a nice judgment. A slow dissection. That'll do it. An unavoidable end. No worship to worry about this time either, thankfully. Let's see if we can get a nice big blight. Excellent. And chop. One down. I hope. Really relying on that DOT here, not gonna lie. Big reliance on that death blow DOT. There we go. Yet again, the taunt shows up. Alright, at least we get the vulnerability hex here, which is pretty effective. Might have even wanted to do that anyway. He lied, knowing full well the demon's pull was the right play. Taunt again? Not going to make a huge difference there, I guess, but oh well. Uh, that regen's going to be too much to get through. Death's door almost, damn. Am I the only one that finds the eyes is the hardest boss, scarier than the last? You are not alone in that. That is a sentiment I have heard quite a bit. You know, the focused fault is tearing people apart for sure. Does some big damage, man. I think it's scary as hell. I'm intimidated still. I'm I'm far from certain of our success here. Entirely possible that we're uh, just plunging face first into a buzzsaw right now. That's a that's a familiar feeling, though. Oh, so you're playing Darkest Dungeon Bear. That's what you're saying? 
seems right. One less obstacle in our path. Red Hook has said they're looking into reworking the eyes a bit so it isn't so painful. They've been reworking it, it feels like. Oh my god, this is a very tempting proposition on Aurelian right now. <laughs> Talk about just instantly deleting stuff. Double damage Ravager. I think I'm going to try it for a little bit. Not right now. Well, probably at the start of the next region, unless the bounty hunter shows up. Even then, maybe. Hear me out. Leave Focused Fault the same, but give it meme lasers, like a freaking laser beam attached to its head. The roaring I'm with it. Does much for the weary body. Even more, perhaps, for the restless soul. Boisterous. Hey, right on cue, huh, bud? Every road a winding torment. Hmm. Every turn bent on our destruction. Hmm. Shroud? The barnacled timbers of the coastal villages are sodden with salt and secrets. I think this is... I think this is actually the occultist this time on the bench. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Ooh, we do have the feeder almanac. I forgot. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. Yeah, I remember the Hellion has the shroud boss goal too, so I'm thinking of going there just for that. But then again, plus 15 damage or plus 15 percent damage from the almanac and the feeder It'll make it a lot easier. to get this trophy. I kind of want to go for the triple academic studies, though. That's that usually bodes pretty well. Same candle reward here. I feel like we could probably do it. I think if we leave the occultist on the bench, I think we'll be there okay. There is no man behind the hunter's mask. Then again. Only a terrible thought. Upgraded vulnerability hex. Weakening curse, apply combo for the. Uh, no, I think we do that. He will lend you his wicked talents. Heavy handed. Price. That's interesting. All right. Finish him. Pearl bat. Probably the mark for death. Still, I like no escape here as well. Seems good. Soft Vestal is unfortunate. Six mastery points is great, though. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. Got all the slime mold we can muster. Delicious. Sharpness charm here is kind of tempting. I do want to grab all three of these, though, if I can. Although, to be honest, they are a lot less valuable right now, but I can stockpile them. Let's get at least one. If not all three. Yeah, all three. Pipeweed, dartboard, whiskey flask. I don't have to get that just yet. Let's get these. These will be outstanding for the fight. And I guess that's it. This feel pretty good, though. The means of mastery. Banking on the slime mold, huh? Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> fuck. Uh-oh. That's not good. Not gonna have any food, huh? Man, maybe we shouldn't go to the Shroud. This is a terrible idea. I do want to upgrade that. More burn from the Judgment would be nice. Upgrade Divine Comfort's pretty good, too. Howling End, absolutely. Iron Swan, absolutely. Adrenaline Rush. Oh, right, yeah, this does remove Winded. What was I thinking? Well, that's good. Yeah, we'll only keep that then, obviously. Kind of tempting to Wicked Hack, actually. I like Acid Rain and Punish again, too, though. Maybe Deathless Upgrade? That'd be a lot safer, certainly. Yeah, let's do that. That feels good.
If I could get rid of sprained ankle and lazy. I should. Yeah, that seems worthwhile. Okay, cool. Thanks, game. And we do want to get rid of this unfriendly relationship, but I guess we're not dealing with that here, are we? Yeah, it actually worked out pretty well to put the occultist away for now. That'll do. Still saving those. Gonna throw the noisemakers on there, and then probably gonna use the blood at some point here. All right, this seems good. I have a really bad feeling about going to the Shroud. It just doesn't feel right to me. But those studies are tempting enough, man. I'm gonna do it. Gulp. Hmm. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Wow, that's nice. Thanks. I guess I could bl put Bleed Out back on. For the content. I guess so. How much slime mold do you think you eat in one sitting? Propriety floats listless on the tide. Brined in noxious degradation. About like a month and a half ago, I had... Um, five pieces of what I would find out later that day was bad bacon. That bacon went bad, and I did not know. But I found out the hard way. It was among the most unpleasant feelings I've experienced in my life. A horrifying so bout of food poisoning. At least it should be. Like, extreme pain in the bowels, coupled with vomiting and diarrhea. Oh my god, it was a nightmare, dude. It sucked. But I got through it, and I learned my lesson that the most slime mold that I could probably stomach in one sitting is zero. I will take zero, please and thank you. Bear no likey. We also do need to pick a name for the bounty hunter. I've archived and restarted it if you want to get that pick me going. My bad. Totally spaced that. You have a coward stink on you. That's such a good bark. So it brings no satisfaction. Yeah, it brings a little satisfaction. Just a tiny bit. Who is our bounty hunter for today? Do, 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 do. Sauron the enemy. Home of the team. Our bounty hunter for the day. What's the goal? We're looking to clear out the lair of this region, which is going to be much easier said than done. We'll do our best. Man, actually, I think I just want to do this. Yep, I'm fine with that. That'll work. Oh, you meant the goal of the run? Win. Achieve victory. As per usual. Time to collect some bounties, baby. Oh, I was going to say, why the hell is he so weak? It's probably because he's weakened. Oh, I'm at your goal in life? I think I'm doing it. Right now, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm achieving my life's goal. All right. Hooray. Well done, bear. What's the purpose of life, bear? Uh, it might just be this. What we're doing right now? You having a good time? I think that's it. 
Also 42. Can't forget that. Eh, yeah, small chance. Here's the tokens. Probably need to do a little bit of stress healing here, unless I want to try to get really well set up for the uh, toxic triggers against the Leviathan. That seems like a bit of a gamble. I don't know if I'm going to go that route. Goodbye. Eh, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, that's even better. I forgot. Well, good thing we did it just then. Okay. Endure here? I don't hate that, actually. I think I'm going to try to stall from some stress healing in this fight. Despite the ordained enemy. I think we'll be quite all right. A little bit of bleed on him. Not too shabby. Let's see. We can go... Consecration, sure. Right? Yeah, why not? And then do I want to just go for a toxic? I don't think so. We can still do a little healing otherwise here. That's clearly not great. So that's a net gain of one, unfortunately, after that. Also, the bounty hunter are in pretty awful Slow shape, so this is begins. starting to seem worse. Not entirely worth it. Okay, it is dead there. We get another sanctuary, I think. Go for that. Another pip. Hey, farming pips out of it, huh? That'll work. That's probably worth. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. Nah, yeah, I don't need the protectorate. Although I guess we don't have a sink of trinket on the bounty hunter, but that's certainly not going to be the one, is it? This will. There you go, bud. Let's see. Well, if we're going to go lair, got to go this way. The tangled trails whisper of torment. Please don't let me die. I'll do my best. It's, it's fun to keep you right on the precipice, though. And some drama. I'll take it. All right, we've been rocking. Been rocking the consecration early. Do you think it's a fine starting choice for her still? I like the stun of the cabin boy. Stop all that nonsense right away and then See how that does. Pretty good. That looks like an excellent acid rain uh, target, actually. Well, it was. Look at them and their goddamn knockback, dude. It's like they know how effective it is or something. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. I really don't want to get the toxic here. I'm just going to have to Sanctuary to try to avoid it, but I might not even get a chance here. I think a bunch of stress early. I'm getting early turns, too. Okay, that is Death's Door. And that's a stress heal from Death's Head. Right, how brilliant. Okay. And then he's stealth and got, has speed. Of course, we can just do a Deathless here and take care of things. In fact, yeah, that seems good. God, I love that trinket. Uh, sure. Yet another pip. That's outstanding. Oh, my God. That's the biggest threat eliminated. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Do indeed. Unfortunately, not going to get through to the cabin boy before the transformation. Stumbling and stupefied. Might not have even been worth it to try, I just realized. 
Unless the acid rain gets lucky. No luck, all right. Was worth it for the stress heal, though. Hey, disease resist, too nice. Ah, an ordained captain, though, son of a bitch. No burn. Light is at least enough, and then... No escape on cooldown. Let's get the kill. A righteous action. Still guarded up front. Oh my god. Yeah, that looks like a good revelry at least. I don't think she can do it from the third rank though. Oh captain, my captain. Hey Luca, welcome. Might as well do this again, right? Yeah, that seems good. On him? No. We'll do that. It does make revelry worse, but maybe I'm better off not taking that this turn anyway. If I do this, I think I do. Especially with his death's door reaction. I think I could still do that, but that's definitely not as good here. Although it is slightly better than moving forward, weirdly enough. Oh, all the blind, yikes. All right, so that's a stress heal. He does have another taunt, unfortunately, so I guess I'm banking on the Death's Door trigger once. Oh no, he stealthed immediately after Death's Door. That's right, God, that's awesome. Okay, don't want to let him bleed out, obviously, so let's prevent that. And punish, sure. There's some tokens. Self-heal, there we go. Ooh, yikes. That's unfortunate. Yeah, let's try again. Yep, god damn it. There's everyone's blind kicking in. Oh, I can just punish again, I guess. That's good. Ooh, yikes. Big hit. Divine on con or on cooldown there. I could sanctuary again, actually. That seems okay. Three stress healed on the Hellion is pretty outstanding. mind that one bit. She does have the block. Alright, just you. That's a fine start. An interminable conflict. I did not realize Howling End was a move back. Has it always been a move back? I swear they changed that. I don't think that used to be a move back. It's new, yeah. For 1.0, that's interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. Hmm. Eh, Revelry doesn't do anything here, unfortunately. Might actually get an adrenaline rush off. Never mind. Works neatly with Vestal's consecration. True. Scavenge what you can, and be off once more. Yeah, toe to toe might be worth having in that case. Certainly missed it in that fight. Revelry seems less important now with Sanctuary in the mix. I, I do not feel good about this Leviathan fight. Not at all. Well, I think I'll have to check the loot again. Hey, intro. It's going pretty good. You know, despite that... Uh, doubt you just heard. Run is definitely progressing well. We got some really nice trinkets to start off with. The clenching claws and the death's head on the flagellant here. Looking really nice. Not to mention plus 40% damage on the Hellion to start off with, so that's uh, pretty great. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Pretty freaking good. Two stuns. God damn. That feels nice. Sanctuary, sure. Compassion, quiet the howling mind. Even more stress healed, very nice. Let's go for the hurl bat. What's the cross in the champ selection? I, I, I'm confused by the question, Miss. Sorry. Oh, another blood. Excellent. God, that is actually perfect timing. Thank you very much, game. 
not effective. We very likely will use that. Another mastery point. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Got two blood, two noisemakers, some herbs. Uh, it's, it's maybe, maybe doable. It's going to be very close. If I do foul take this. And foul tidings. No doubt the source is within. I think it's going to fully depend on the available rewards, not to mention whether or not we can make it through these first two fights in good shape. Watch that shuffle. Not making me very happy to start off with here. Let's save the noisemaker still. I think I could go ahead and do a consecration early on anyway. It's probably fine. Can obviously still do the stun here. Which is quite good. And got a taunt for sure. Save the crit. Toe to toe, obviously. Although the taunt, clearly not ideal there, but the immobilize. Actually going to have some added value against all these move skills, so yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I really need to uh, upgrade this Divine Comfort soon as well. Definitely going to want that. Yeah, we'll remove Winded with the upgraded toe-to-toe -to -toe eventually for sure. Now that I realize that that's a priority again. Rustproof Hippo! Thanks for the Prime. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Appreciate the support. Thanks for the Bear Hugs form. Good to have you. Mark for death? Nah. That's probably enough. That's definitely enough. Another blood. Wow. Only that could have shown up a little earlier, but that's still pretty great. Burn. Very good. That's still a Jinx trigger as well for another blind. Excellent. Yet another crit. Wow. This dude is crushing it right now. And no revelry here, so I guess we'll just do that. And they're dead. Holy shit, everything's dead. All right, just need a little HP restored here. Nah, not a lot of move resistance for the Leviathan, which is yet another reason not to go for it. So we ain't resisting any of those drag downs, unfortunately. Unless we get really lucky. I mean, the flagellant has got a decent amount, but certainly not anything I want to rely on. I got the uh, ichthyophobic achievement for killing 100 fishermen just now as well. Yeah, Jig still triggers off a dodge, which is part of what makes it incredibly valuable. Tormentor! We'll be back for the near full year. Bear hugs, please. Let me feel the love. Thank you. I could start with that. There is comfort in company. Three stress healed and a couple block tokens. I'll take it. Combo time. And the taunt. That is an outstanding start. That's an outstanding start for them. That sucks. Yeah, right on back up to the front, please. Stumbling and stupefied. Stun on the flagellant. Yikes. Okay, yeah, the, the, you really know how to fuck things up, don't you? Thanks for that. Please knock back. Thank you. Okay. A little better. Oh, that's even better. Thanks. Ooh. Okay, okay. Someone came to play. We'll get a little regen off that. The stun triggers. Okay. How about a stun for y'all? Well done. That seems fair. That seems balanced. Wind here, unfortunately. I think I just have to take a chance. Nice. And there's the speed for the captain, which apparently didn't matter since our speed is faster. The enemy weakens and wanes. Still a very tanky boy. Do not like that. I do like consecration again. 
Are Vestal and Man at Arms the only heroes who can defend others? I believe that is correct. That sounds right. Oh boy, that's not great. No DOT at least. Don't have any taunt up though. I might actually need to do a toe-to-toe -to -toe just for that, but I could also just murder something. That seems effective. Eh, let's let the blight do it. They falter. Another so blood, wow. Advance. That is pretty fortunate. Well, if I kill him. It's at least one last a person able to target the rear ranks. Oh, I could Deathless here, right? I could crit Deathless. Hell yeah, dude. And the pit. Let's go. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Finish him off. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, I'm loving it. it. Could be a solution. Yeah, that'll work out, huh? Seems acceptable. Random stress heal, too. Let's do another one. Zero stress hellion. That feels pretty great. He's dead. Goodbye. Well, this is certainly the sort of state I want to make this fight happen in. Fisherman's line, sodden sweater, whiskey. This is pretty good loot. I'm not going to lie. All right, fine. Whatever. Let's all die. They must be made to see that their monstrous god is mortal. For the content. Ooh, and an instant weaken. Nice. Ah, no vulnerable that time. This would be the flagellant being dragged down, which is certainly ideal. This seems right. And let's go for the consecration up front as well. Crit chance, maybe. Oh, the blood. Right, yeah, of course. Let's do that and then deal 33 damage. Or 61 is also pretty good. A breakthrough. I'd say dealing a third of the Leviathan's HP in one hit is decent. Up there, you know. Okay, okay. Resist, perhaps. That'd be fine. I'd be quite all right with that. It's not something I mind one bit. How about yet another one of these bloods popped on the Hellion to perhaps Bravo. just rid us of this issue immediately? That'll be a Jinx and a Clenching Claws for the Vulnerable on the Leviathan. That's pretty goddamn good. Say goodbye to the hand. No more of that nonsense to deal with. How about a little Collect Bounty? Finish him? No? Hurl Bat? Well, that's better, I guess. Kind of a waste of a Vulnerable, but oh well. More Taunt? Sure. Why the heck not? Regen time. This small boss looks awesome. Yeah, this little mini boss fight. Just this little bitty fish. It's fun! It's fun to fight. Jinx vulnerable again. Does have the blind this time, unfortunately, but it's probably worth a go here. Mistimed. Ooh. Misdirected. Bummer. Full power judgment. Burn, baby, burn. Hell yeah. A master stroke. Ooh, baby. Hey, just go ahead and resist that drag down again, if you don't mind. That'd be great. Oh, shit. All right. That's incredible. <laughs> wow. Okay. Stun? No, not going to happen. Uh, 9 to 15, 6 to 10. Yep, that's the one. Oh, he is burning, right? Yeah, Hurlback gets the bonus damage from that. Yeah, I got to try to get the Hellion kill here. Uh, three, five, Divine Grace? Sure. Sure, dude. Um, so then, DOT... I think we actually still want to do this. 
just force the hand to smack the flagellant around. This also opens up the possibility of Iron Swan, which is clearly a great choice here. DLT is bringing him down to death's door. Flagellant back up to the front. File with me, thanks. And miss it. Ah, damn. Okay. I had to get there eventually. Six to ten. That'll be enough for death's door. That could kill him on the DOT, though. So let's just let the DOT do the work and let's get consecration up front again. Death's door. And the bounty hunter actually may be able to do some serious damage to the claw here. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's get rid of that. This wound at least has been tended to. 20 freaking damage and a recycled combo. Now just don't knock her back. Ah, you piece of shit. Fine. That is going to complicate matters quite a bit. Thankfully, she's not blinded. Hmm. I guess we just do deathless, right? Yeah. A calculated generosity. It's still toe-to-toe. -to -toe. a welcome one, nonetheless. It's still toe-to-toe -to -toe here. Everything's okay. Might as well make it even more likely to take it out. Uh, sanctuary stress heal. Fantastic. Empowered. Emboldened. How about them? Beautiful. And 69 torchlight at the end. Nice. In this weighty gloom, a spark. That went well. Good stuff. Hero goal complete. Sodden sweater. Certainly an excellent choice for our flagellant. I don't really want to get rid of anything for it. I don't want to get rid of anything on her either. Here, you can have it for a minute. And I don't think I have a serrated item or the fisherman's net, so we'll hold on to that for now. Cool. Dump it. Dump it. Dump it. I'm not going to use idle thought. Let's not even bother. Not even mess around with that. Region goal complete. Do need to pay a little bit of attention to the remainder of the upcoming region here. I don't want to get too many wheels knocked out, so I guess the watchtower would be good for that. That is not the way they want to go, though. I think I'd rather cooperate with them a little bit. All right, all right. It is good for the Hellion. Yeah, the Ravager bleed chance. I would very much like to have the sweater on her. In fact, it might be worth giving up the Gnarly Knuckles. That's a big damage boost, though. But it is a safer play. Yeah, I guess we could do that. All that matters is the flickering torch you bear. Make the swap. Ooh, stealth. We've set the trap. I do love the look of the Infernal Flame Ryu. Yeah, I'm a fan too. I kind of miss it how it used to be, though. Uh, uh, Pre-1.0, it used to be a lot darker and a lot more menacing. But still pretty good. I guess that was mostly due to the fact that it actually set the torchlight at 1. That was probably more what I, more of what I was seeing than the actual Infernal Flame itself. Well done. Sun should prevent the transformation. Combo time. We're seeing a lot of ordained boys, which I suppose makes sense. I kind of want the sweater on him for the move resist, too, is the thing. I feel like it might be worth it just for that. Because they do be knocking him around a lot. The 
despite his existing move resist. Hmm. Clenching claws and death's head, though, man. I mean, jeez, look at that. Hard to argue against the utility of both of those... Both of those, uh... Trinkets. Early results are encouraging. Finish him. Or, you know, do your best. Do your very best, buddy. Yeah, I'll heal. He can use Punish in rank 3, yeah. He's always been able to do that. It's pretty nice. Let's endure here. Trying to adult! Lenity. Grace. Small acts that drive back the dark. Doing a damn fine job, in my opinion. First time gift or get him some bear gifts, bear hugs. Welcome to the pile, everybody. Thank you for 10 gifted subscriptions. That's very kind. Appreciate it. Holy balls indeed. We are the flame. Yo. Burning brightly for all the world to see. Mastery points have been abundant so far this round, and I am very happy to see that. Because we need them. Big time. Absolutely go and study. Another resistance encounter. Fine by me. Another mastery point chance. Up ahead, the seat of our regrettable research. Getting several bonus candles out of this region, actually, too, which is nice. Still need those. All right, let's keep going, Consecration. Actually, I, I really like the early Sanctuary play, despite the... Uh, Despite the lack of strength tokens that presents. Especially, I suppose, if the bounty hunter is already this low. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea to get started with that. Maybe Consecration Turn 2 is better, though. Especially since she's acting first a lot of the time. That way we can clear out our weakened token and then not have to worry about just canceling it with the Consecration. We can actually utilize it instead. See if we can make that happen. Oh, I really should be using the no escape on his first turn with the weaken as well, though. This road cannot be walked alone. Okay, he's feeling a little better. Might even get a deathless off here. That seems like a fine choice. One down. Another blood. Ooh, that might be a toxic. Yeah, goddammit. All right. Had to happen, I guess. Oh, there's a stress heal, right? Thankfully, it only affected two of the relationships. Given the uh, occultist is not with us right now, so that worked out. Have you seen the murder weapon trinket yet? I don't think so. It sounds like something I probably would be familiar with upon that description. I know of the vengeful kill list. I don't know if that's what you're talking about with the bounty hunter. We actually got that last time, and that went really well. 42! Speaking of which, another blood! What is happening? I activated the cheats today. 50% chance to generate the blood. Big time stress heal again. Beautiful. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. A miscalculation, perhaps. Oh no, Flagellant has taken too much stress and is now buying Twitter verified and correcting people. Plus two, plus two. My life is so much better without Twitter. Vouch for anybody looking to improve the quality of their existence. If you're on Twitter, try not being on Twitter. It's the best. It's fucking great. I don't have to care about any of that shit anymore. And it never mattered at all. None of it. It's just such a silly thing I chose to do for years. 
And again, sure, there's certainly good ways to use it. A resounding what is happening? That's absurd. Do another one. No? All right. Still, though, good lord. We are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. Bear, you're wrong. Without Twitter, I would miss your important announcements. Well, okay, yeah, obviously make sure that you're still following me on Twitter. Just in case I have anything critical I need to let you know there. Which, of course, that would be the first place. Such as, you're a bitch, LMAO, LOL, ROFL. I mean, how would you know that otherwise? It's important to keep you abreast of these things. He said breast! <laughs> Booby! So far, I've not seen him, but in case I see the bounty hunter, is it worth hiring him? I think so. And often, if you complete his hero goal, he just pays for himself. So, yeah, I'd say so. Death Seeker. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Oh, yeah, we got this last time. Not last time. We got this, uh, like, one of the first few runs, I think. But is, I believe, new to 1.0. Copy all positive tokens. That plus the blood, obviously pretty fucking outstanding. This plus the blood means you can use the blood and then use this and not take the horror from the blood. Holy shit. Holy shit. That's absurd. That is, that is plainly ridiculous. That is abusable. We're going to take full advantage of that. There's our end game combat items sorted out, man. That's for freaking sure. That makes me feel much better all of a sudden. You can stack blood and then use the paint. Holy shit. You're absolutely right. That's absurd. And now you can carry more blood because you got the trophy that stacks combat items. Oh my god. You're right. Holy hell. This is going to be broken. Oh, that's super exciting. I just need to make sure that I big brain it enough to set it up properly. Ooh, got the crit early. Very nice. I'll take it. It doesn't work on toxic now. That, that, that wouldn't do it. But you can use it certainly on the crit, the speed, and the, uh, what is it? The dodge? What is this thing at? No, it's not it's strength, right? I think it's crit, strength, and speed. All of which are obviously outstanding. A calculated generosity. What a welcome one, nonetheless. Air Wolf Gaming. Show them the love with the bear hugs, please, Pile. Thank you for the new subscription. Welcome on in. Appreciate it. She's doing pretty good. Take heart and do not relent. Hellion's performing according to expectation. Satisfied and smiling. Yet another crit. Mm. He's done. He's dead. Goodbye. Oh my god, we're gonna pop Deathless again, aren't we? Ah, it's on cooldown shit. Alright, well. Uh, I guess this is better, isn't it? Rather he have it. Done deal, dude. The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. I think with the tick, you also want to take as many fights as you can. True, yeah. I haven't really been leaning into that as much as I could, but going pretty well so far, obviously. Let's go right. Memories of a dream. A safe route again. Hell yeah. Although, I guess that is running contrary to what we just said, isn't it? Thankfully, don't need that. We've got a benefit from the ice box right now, though, right? From the stagecoach, it says... Your collection oh, yeah. Point. Press onward. We actually do want to hold on to as much food as we can because we get additional disease resist from it. So we've got to keep that in the inventory if we can. What do you got for me? 
true artist sketched upon the flesh. Here we'll go for the Vestal complete. That is a nocturnal perk for him. Plus 15% damage, plus one speed under 50 torchlight, which is thankfully threshold being met right now, though I guess it's not really ideal. All right. Keep going. I did a food build yesterday. Got entire squad to 60 plus max HP. That's awesome. That was with the uh, the pet, I'm assuming, that does that, right? Which I forget which one that is. But there's a lot of stagecoach items you can get to benefit that, too. Yeah, you can absolutely go that route. That's awesome. It's a lot of fun. And imagine that with the Harvest Bounty Trophy, right? Eh, I could probably use some wheels. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, yeah, that's the natural follow-up question to that, right? Did you win? Was it enough? Yo! Sick! Loathing resisted from the carriage lamps. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty nice value right there, huh? Okay. I might as well, uh... Get those equipped too. In fact, I might. Oh yeah, especially if you get some smoke bombs. Hold on, let's put those in there. Actually, use the invigorating intoxicant since that's pretty fantastic for our flagellant here. In fact, oh man, that is actually really tempting for endgame combat items too. Although I'm sure, I'm sure we'll have more than enough blood, so I just do that. Dane boy up front. Yeah, that's what I thought too, Jack, but that it being that second thing is way better, obviously. I like that a lot. Definitely taunt time. Hey, Cookie. Hopefully we can help you do that very thing. You still got to be a jerk, huh? All right. I'll get the vulnerable at least. Hi-yo! And mark. Man, a debuff resist. Taunt not too bad there at least. I might just sanctuary for the stress healing. I don't love that, though. This motherfucker. This motherfucker right here. Bear, can you enable this for when I spot a DD1 reference? It, it being like a two and a half second process, I, I, I feel I can probably provide. Yeah. I think I literally did that before I could finish describing the process of doing it. Yup. Huh. This is looking like a toxic. I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop that. This is looking like a worship, too, here, unfortunately. This is a really bad situation. These fucking taunt tokens, man. Ugh. All right, all right. Yeah, they're going to make this a problem. This felt like it was an issue from the beginning here. Let's go for a burn. Oh, got, oh, man, he's got the regen back, too. Good lord. This isn't good. This is actually looking like a fairly likely toxic trigger here, which it might end up being necessary. God, this fucker and his debuff resistance. Stop it. Let me vulnerable you. Jerk. Oh, my lord. Just love consecration up front, right? Let's let's do. Yeah, I don't want a toxic here. I can still win this. Just gotta find a freaking way to hit these things. I guess acid rain would be good. I might just have to punish here. Yeah, I think that's our only choice. Which this is not gonna work. Straight up is not going to do the job, so 
going to take every chance we can get to deal a little bit of damage in the back, and then... God, yeah, this is a problem. Can't even move the Hellion that round, and then this is another worship, isn't it? Good lord, this sucks. The obsession... Like, rounds this... The taunt from these obsession altars... This alone is one of the most frustrating things you have to deal with in the game. Like, far and away. The constant taunt generation just totally fucks with the flow of every single one of these Oblivion fights. To the point where it, like, extends the length of it by probably a good five to six rounds. It's insane. It's so frustrating. Yeah, the extra turns are honestly not as bad as this, I agree. Wow! And the bleed, huh? And the 10 bleed for si- Oh, yeah? That seems reasonable. That's a totally normal amount of bleed. He's fine. Yeah, just let him have another hit beforehand, too. Why not? Let's just kill him. Let's just fucking kill him. Didn't need that guy. Convenient heal there, at least, but Jesus. Might as well do that now. Thank God we had it. Gotta do a deathless here, obviously. Okay. We are really making this tough. Thank God it's the region on the Cherub. That could be a lot worse, I guess. But even still, I'm not even, like, dealing any damage here. This is absolutely fucked. That doesn't matter. That's the fucking thing. That's what's so ridiculous about this is that doesn't help. Uh, we are far from out of the woods. Even if I do this, this is not worth it at all either. Not a good idea to howling in there. Let's get rid of the goddamn bleed, obviously. Thank goodness for the bandages, too. Oh, he's got fucking dot three dodge plus. Good Lord. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Really convenient stun there, at least. Got pretty lucky with that. But we need a lot of help still. Thankfully avoided the meltdown there, too, although it's pretty likely to happen. A breakthrough. Okay, clear through the taunt, and then finally able to do this. Threw another dodge plus there, which again, unfortunately, it's not likely to do much. And we can get her up the front and be immobilized. All right, so at least not going to be fucking around with her position again. This dude's dead. Thank goodness. Okay. Making some progress. But they are making this a challenge. Really wish we had some raucous revelry here, too, but oh well. Um, let's endure the Vestal. Avoid the meltdown here. Really don't want to let that happen. Or right, that thing's dead. Divine Comfort certainly seems good safety measure. Having killed the altar, we're certainly much better off now. We're getting there. Let's see. We're probably just gonna have to do something like that. Yeah. Wow! Debuffs are possible. Perhaps they have given their last. She's got regen. She's fine. That seems right. Okay. Sanctuary, of course, a nice stress heal on her, too. Might even be worth it for the uh, actual benefit of the Sanctuary on top of that. Ooh, Toxic Blight. Okay, that's the Cherub down. That helps a lot. Got some value there. And, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, then. A little bit of blight and finish the job. Okay, that's more like it. Quick little turnaround there. A lot of stress, but that, that we can't complain about too much. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Locked jaw, unfortunately, not really one we need to concern ourselves with here. Certainly not going to be applying that onto the flagellant with his trinkets. Yeah, full HP, a lot of stress, but manageable. Bear, what are you hoping for in the next update? 
I'm still enjoying 1.0, to be honest with you. I'm still riding the high, high of 1.0. I feel I gotta keep that mentality as long as I can. That stinks, actually. Ah, I should have dumped some stuff before I could have a chance of getting that bread. That would have been really valuable. We have a lot of bobbles. Holy hell. I just realized that. Maybe we can find the Karkonet again. Good start. Okay. The cultist returns. Success Rest with the bounty hunter. For a time. Oh, nice. Discounted armor and wheel repairs here. And Pathfinder. Excellent. Thank you. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Sick. Hey, yeah. Food barrels are actually pretty good for us. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Let's see if we're going to the feeder, first of all. Nah, we're going sluice. Abandoned waterways. Home now to far worse than rats. So we can put the almanac away. Keep it just in case we need to get it or need to use it later. Let's repair our stagecoach, obviously. The, is patched. the coach stands ready once more. And let's start using some of these uh, in items here. This ought to go pretty damn good. I literally just... They both got melophobic right after I said it's gonna go pretty damn good! Come on! Come on, man! That's not nice! We did get two plus fours, but still... Fair. Big pig! But fairly priced. Triple big pig! Oh my god. That'll do. Alright, yeah, still a full inventory. Uh, well, we do have meditative totems there, actually. Hold on. Maybe I should get a couple of those and chance the removal of Melophobic here. Oh, that's not going to happen, though. They're all, all the way at the end. Could get rid of Soft. That'd be huge. That's probably worth going for. I think... Well, let's, let's sort out the uh, combat items real fast, I guess. Make a little more space that way. I don't think I'm going to use the distracting dust or the greater heat shield. Do I have a fisherman's net? I do. That'd be pretty damn good for the occultist. I think I will buy that. And then give him this. And probably get rid of that. There we go. It's always the first negative quirk, yeah. That the, that the uh, totem will try to remove. Hmm. Gnarly Knuckles. I don't think we use that anymore this run, so say goodbye to that. I'm probably not getting rid of Melophobic. But I do want to take a chance. A bit of comfort. On the road to damnation. I'm getting rid of soft. Not lucky that time. That's okay. Is this still worth it? For the chance of the plus four on the flagellant occultist? Yes. Cool. That went well. Now we just got the unfriendly between the flagellant and the hellion. Shouldn't be too bad. Do have three dart boards after all. A lot of stress healing from this as well. Pretty outstanding. All right, pretty good result overall. I think we'll do a little stress healing between the flagellant and vestal for the max affinity there. Outstanding. Whiskey flasks will give us very friendly between the Hellion and Occultist and Flagellant and Occultist. So we'll take that. That is outstanding. Big pig. Second big pig. 
something to ease the rigors of the road. And that'll do it. Right? Because we got the one. We could actually save it here. Yeah, yeah, one more big pig. Why not? When you can buy three big pigs, you buy three big pigs. That's just that's just how it is. Plus two from the big pig. Hell yeah, dude. And we should buy food. Yeah. That's a lot of food. Um. Man, I wish I had a bunch of relics. I should get greater wolf's blood. Why have I not bought this? This plus snappy swig. Oh, shit. Is it seven? God damn you. The pipe weed. No! Ah, oh, shit. Um, well, clearly that's an upgrade. Hmm. Is that it? That might be it. I think we just feed him this stuff and call it good. Oh, yeah. Speed poultice? Yeah, there are two of them. Those are quite good against the focused fault. Yeah, I should get those. Okay, that's probably good. Mastery time. Learn what can be taught. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. What's the priority now? I've been using that a hell of a lot. Judgment upgrade's still looking good. Toe-to-toe, -to -toe, clear the winded. Wicked hack is looking pretty good, too. Endure, maybe? Let's try that out. And the upgrade to the pole on Demon's Pole is actually pretty substantial, too. Pole three instead of pole two can make a difference. This is looking pretty nice. Let's hit the sluice. Wow. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Okay. Howling in and suffer will stress heal. Very hopeful. Weird reconstruction and punish with the stress heal. Excellent. Iron Swan, burning stars, I'll take it. Oh my god. Well, that's a whiff, so. Meh. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, you don't say. Shocking. Wow, that's that's awesome. Feeling a little bit of hope. Hope is full. Indeed. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. All hope and no cope, damn right. As we instantly obliterate the wheels. No, oh, I mean, if, if we end up stressed at the end of this region, I only got myself to blame, really. Don't forget I want to bit. Uh, noted. What do we want here, actually? We want killing blows on the swine from our flagellant. See if we can make that happen. Probably should pay closer attention to the relationships, too, since we're so close to max affinity. Impervious. He's stunning these guys. Four to seven. I thought Howling Gun went through a block. Apparently not. Must be confusing that with burning stars or something. The swarm that went through blocks. Oh, did they change that too? Nah, that stinks. More, more! Oh, 
we have upgraded substantially now. I think this is going to be a good showcase of Incremental. the real potential of this lot. But deadly all the same. And so far, so good. Alright, they can still hit. They still got moves. Nothing available here. Yikes. Just have to pass turn for the Hellion. That stinks. A master stroke. Double stealth up front. Certainly going to complicate matters. Brilliant. Brilliant play. Convenient blind. Okay. Just negate that a little bit and then try again. There you go, buddy. You did it. Knew you could. Whoopsie! You should have gone for the throat. And do not relent. Miss it. Oh. Wow, nice. Got the stun there. Oh my god, this fucker. You annoying little pig. Little pig, little pig, let me murder you. Double crit, wow. That's fun. He's probably dead now. Deathless? Sure. Seems good. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, should be taunting, I guess. Boy, yo! All right, see if I can get rid of this little tiny bit of stress we've got in here. Or just kill it. Yeah, that's probably fine, too. That'll work. Greater threats await those who dare. Damn! Okay. Might that change my approach? Free Greater Hail Draft. How does this look here? That's a lot of that's a lot of HP. That's that's pretty significant. Hmm, which is better? This, of course, makes his heals better too. Ooh, that is that's really good. I think I might have to keep that. If that's the case, I might just do this. Yeah, that feels better. Okay, right on. That'll work. Our once familiar kingdom, a stranger to itself. Yeah, it is really nice that Death's Head isn't a flagellant exclusive trinket. I like that. Skeever! Ooh, no weaken up front. Nice. Oh my god, and the... Oh wait, is Snappy... Oh my god! What happened? She got speed from... From what? What happened there? Because we're doing the snappy swing now, obviously. We gave her the plus one speed. The mind's grasp grows tenuous. Oh boy, that stinks. From eating the torch. What did she eat? She had the the slime mold, I think. Or no, she's fussy eater, so she must have had the bread. Oh, the Infernal Flame, right? Oh, that's right. I completely forgot. The Infernal Flame gives us plus one speed when we eat food at the end. Cool. All right, then. That worked out. Why did Hellion recover one stress? She's got something doing that. Is that the flame, too? I don't remember. Either way. Ugh. Let's see here. I think we need to... Just Abyssal, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's do a Vulnerability Hex. No dodge for you, buddy. Big ol' wicked hack! Goodbye. Oh, I gotta remember I'm going for the Death Blows. Well done. With the Flagellant on the Swine here. Yikes. Darkness oh! Inexorable. Okay, little stress heal, death's door. 
right away. Speed on the occultist. Apparently doesn't matter. This is no time to falter. Speed, stealth. Game doesn't give a shit. You still gotta die. This dude is immortal. Thank goodness he's decided to maintain that through the runs here because the game fucking has it out for him, man. What the fuck? That genuinely felt unfair. Like, what gave him the first action over the fucking speed occultist? He's got five speed. That What happened there? Actually, what happened there? I want an explanation. Why is that an option? It seems ridiculous. I really thought we'd be okay. He just rolled a nat 20 on speed, I guess. The game said no. Uh, Easily resolved. Don't like that. What's the point of the speed token if that's not going to guarantee your action? But deadly all the same. All right, well, I guess I got to keep that in mind. Uh, let's see here. Deathless again? Yeah, it's probably the best. Small foundation of trust. I'm pretty certain he didn't also have a speed token. I don't think so. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Yeah, I'm here. No more blight. These little pigs, man. They are not freaking around today. Let's see if I can get a blight going. Pretty lucky. Okay, there's one death blow on a swine at least. Uh, there you go. Timely block. Holy shit. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. He's still stealthed? What is with these guys? They're cheating, dude. They're just straight up cheating. That ain't fair. How do you feel about that? Oh, yeah, no stealth you anymore, buckaroo. Emboldened. Big old bitch. That's two swine, at least. I think we got... Oh, snap! We got the box! Pass that right up, but that's a huge find. Box strong box. Delivered to the end to gain 48 relics. And then that also becomes a stagecoach gear, which we might actually end up equipping after we empty it out. Of course, we got to make it to the end first. Still a lot of opportunities to kill some swine here, too, actually. I can still get it. Plenty of inventory space now, at least. Gotta welcome the fight. Here we go. Oh, they certainly plan to, Duke. Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything more than you do, but from what I know, they absolutely plan to release more and more characters. I said as much on the dev stream prior to release. Keep on regening. Oh, the consecration is a stress heal, right? Yeah, well, that's probably worth it. I need to start strengthening him more often, actually, since we're looking for those death blows. Okay. Diphtheria. Round start stun. 5% chance. Yikes, we want to get rid of that. Takes damage when stress damaged as well, which is probably worse, to be honest. That's really, really bad. Yeah, that actually, the second part of that is far and away the worst of it. We're going to need to take care of that really quickly. Vulnerability Hex, eh, I'd rather do the Abyssal, I think. 
clear both tokens there. Reverse readout, yeah, seriously. That sucks. Um, eh, it's fairly unlikely that that kills it, and then the Blight would do it if I get the minimum hit. There we go. I love you too, babe. I love you! You, my wife! You can't hear me, but I like you! Uh, vulnerability now. There we go. Stun from the fisherman's line. That's pretty outstanding. Okay. Yeah, I'll go for Sanctuary, sure. And another pip from that. We've gotten a whole bunch of relationship pips from that interaction. That is awesome. There's the Blight kill for the Flagellant. Excellent. That looks pretty good. Take a stress heal from it. Excellent. And then Acid Rain time. You got a game, I believe. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Dodge, beautiful. This fight's going really well. Go, team, go. Damn resistance, though. All right, get on up here. Or die. That's fine, too, I guess. Also acceptable. And just move. Got a pip out of it. Oh, my God. That's fortunate. Uh, another stress heal. Why not? Two stress healed. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Two more stress, darn it. Okay. And two more stress because I feel obligated to get the kill with him. Still didn't get it. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yet another pip. Can't stop pipping. Can't stop Scotty pipping. Um, oh, damn it. Yeah. You know what? Just stress heal. F it, dude. The Who needs candles? I don't want stress. Yields. Morbid game. Me, I need candles. That's the guy. That's I wanted the plus four candles. I definitely regret that. I immediately regret that choice. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to end up on seven out of eight swine kills now. I feel as though I have just guaranteed that outcome. Oh, darn it. The consequences of my own actions. Again? The loathing whispers. It keeps happening. Oh, well. Mm, combat items. Get another pip. Thanks! That'll help. Always love to see the fragments. All right, come on, little pigs. Four little pigs all in a row. Close enough. I'll take it. Consecration time. Don't, don't do that. I'm real tired of it. I'm really done with you guys taking the flagellant out of rank two, since it seems to be all you want to do. You, you know you can't win, so the sole objective is to do that, to stop us from getting our candles. Don't you want us to get candles? Because the sooner we get our candles, the less time we spend in pursuit of them, and therefore can spend more time focused on you and on your needs, what you want. I'm just trying to help y'all, and you're just making it much more difficult. Look, bring him on back to the front. You tried. You did your best. Okay, I respect that. You did what you could there. We are going to need him to move forward. She's just finding crit after crit here. That is not what I wanted. Oh, you pieces of poop. I don't know why I'm saving this kill, actually. This is the one kill we don't need to get from him. Should have definitely aimed at the pig. 
Okay, come here. Okay, now stop it. Stop knocking back the flagellant, okay? All right? Just don't do it anymore. Not allowed. The one thing you're not allowed to do is that literally one rule. I plead with you to follow. Oh, that was stupid. I did get a blood, though. That's nice. All right. Well, that one's dead. Now, you, you can't control me being an idiot, you guys. So that's all. That's all well and good. And they do appear to be listening to me, finally. Yeah, why not? Sanctuary, sure. There's the blight. Clear a corpse. Stress heal for funsies. There he goes. All right. That's five, I want to say. Could have been seven, but that's all right. In this weighty gloom, a spark. Dead or no, this entire game might be a dream sequence so they can do whatever they want. Oh, shit, am I dreaming? No, I could be. I, I just developed the ability to feel pain within the dream. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming. All right, well, whatever. It's going pretty good. I'll take a dream W. Duke Leisure! There was the uwu after the slap. That was so fast. And an instinctual reaction to that. Uh, get to burn selves in there. We'll save this, maybe. I kind of doubt it, but, you know, I'll pretend. Thanks for the resub. Eight months. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. One more chance. Let's get them swine kills. Ability to feel pain in the dream was added with the flatulent. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Dodge clear. Man, that's a pretty good dodge clear. Another consecration. Hopefully, we get lucky and can pull the skeever forward this time. We'll give it a go. Stress heal at least. Line, beautiful. Now we. Yeah, that's why we. That's why we try to pull that guy forward. That's a nice crit there for sure. I think I will go with the more and more here. We're gonna want to heal to follow up this next round, and then hopefully we can get the pull to go this time. Nope. Timed. Misdirected. Yeah, damn it. He's blinded at least. Another blight. That's unfortunate. Real big blight there. I would regen, but we do have a crit here. I'll take that. A little stress healing. Should probably kill the worm before we create any corpses here, too. All right. He's going to get his full heal, at least. Oh, he's stunned. That's convenient. Eh, it's still probably the play. Air optimal. Big crit. Boom! Blight will do it. He's done. Blinded. Come on. Nice. Oh, the move forward. That'll work for us. Get rid of this guy. One less obstacle in our path. Vulnerability hex certainly looking pretty good here. See what we can do. Malaise. Very nice. And steady. Very nice with the crit heal from the vest. Two outstanding. That's another big chunk of blight, unfortunately. Gotta let the blight do the work in the back and then again another stealth, but I guess we'll just have to wait. Regen. Fight through the fatigue. That's a good waner. Yeah, I like that a lot. Empowering. Emboldening. Pretty sure he's limited in rank one, so... That helps, at least. 
Nice big self-heal. Could have easily killed him with that, which was pretty stupid. That's all right. Consecration for one more. Stress heal. And just pass. Got to allow for the flagellant here. Pull for best waner. We should do a... Relief comes rarely in these times. A waner tier list. That's good content. All right, I think that was his hero goal, Matt. An inkling of potency still lingers in some of these well-worn relics. That's pretty good. I think that's a plus four, in fact. The loathing abates. And we resisted the loathing. Oh, no. Just as I predicted. Certainly we'll be able to kill one more pig before the end of the sluice. Certainly the game will provide. Oh, God, it's the cash. Pick up these goods and imbue them with purpose. Fourth big pig. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. And we have all of the food now. Holy shit. Uh, don't need those anymore. Don't. Probably don't need the almanac. Can absolutely use the laudanum here. Um, gotta keep the fisherman's net equipped. Dump this. Dump this. Boy, we have got a lot of stuff. Death cap spores I really want to keep. Oh, shit. All right, good enough. I'm going to get rid of the bear traps just in case I find something better. I'm pretty sure we're ending up at 7 out of 8. That is so silly. God damn it. <laughs> Ah! One day. One day I'll meet those goals. Oh, well. Maybe I'll find another pig randomly. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits its favorite guests. This is good. Great positive quirks there. And there's our spacious strong box to increase our stacking of relics and baubles. We might just go ahead and equip here. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. I think I want it over the carriage lamps, actually, at this point. Experimentation. Your academic instincts serve you well. And then let's see if I'm going to the feeder here. I am not. All right, so I can dump that. And... Yeah, I guess we could go to the Sprawl again. The Sprawl with a Heat Wave seems pretty rough. But I definitely want to go for the Hoarder. And we can get some bonus candles this way, so... Another nameless city. That'll do. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Wainwright's looking fine. Let's hit the Provisioner. Didn't get any Mastery fair, Points, unfortunately. Oh my god. But fairly priced. Another three big pigs. I kind of want to pick, uh, pick up the Collector Chandelier here, too, to be honest replace the uh well no i think we keep the food barrel icebox situation going i might even buy more food try to take full advantage of that let's see here do some whiskey and a bottle there as well how are the relationships doing i feel like we're really good already just need to work on a flagellant hellion here everything else is in really good shape Do the whiskey bottle for that, see if we get lucky. Nope. Alright, that's fine. Not everyone has to be at maximum affinity, I guess. And I don't know, it feels fairly unlikely that we actually end up benefiting from this. I think it might be better to get the carriage lamps in for the final region. And then if we're going to do that, I suppose I might as well just get the collector chandelier too. Yeah. It's only one region, but it might make a difference. Got to get more candles, dude. We're going to have a ton of relics here. Might as well get these. No need to buy another pig, obviously. 
No stimulating poultices. Could get a backup fisherman's net, I guess. I might as well do that. And that's probably good. I'm going to hang on to the rest of it and hopefully get a nice hoarder or hospital or something. Actually, a hospital would be great. Save a bunch of relics for that is a good idea. Oh, yeah, I could get like three fisherman's nets. Okay. This feels good. Hey, Diamond, welcome. Would you swap out trophies with the complete catalog, or does the blood make this better? I think the blood actually does make this worth it, yeah. The blood plus the other uh, combat item we got, the uh, unnatural pigment, I think it actually makes this much, much better. We'll probably still take a look at the lair, just out of curiosity, but, well, assuming we go that way. All right, I gotta make a quick bathroom break here, but uh, when we return, time for the sprawl. See you in a minute. Best soup opinions. Cheese and potato is objectively the best kind of soup. Bear, that's basically a stew. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Aspiration unites the hopeful. It's still the best. Broccoli cheese will win too, no doubt. I mean, cheese might just be the ultimate cheat, despite the fact that I've gone on record as being a little anti-cheese myself. Here's how I'm anti-cheese. Here's where here's where the line is drawn for me as far as cheese goes. If I can, like, if the cheese is either unnaturally orange or in too big of a wad. Behold the great cities of man. You gotta not put Ruined. all of the cheese in one part of whatever it is, whether that be like a burrito or a burger. The cheese has gotta be evenly distributed. Think carefully. Today's oversight is tomorrow's regret. The sight of too much cheese is off-putting. Unappetizing even. There's the hospital. There's where I'm going. Got a hoarder here, too, actually. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go straight. Let's get rich. Very little priority in this region apart from this hospital, actually. I would like to get those three assistance encounters, but I'm not really, I'm not really sweating that that much. Perhaps I left this for you. Perhaps you left it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it is not here at all. Timely inclusion of the apples and cheese. The emancipation shows up again, just in case I wanted it still. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. That's probably better than the plus 10 HP, isn't it? Punish skill, steal positive token. I don't know, actually. I think I might rather have... Yeah, I think I'm good. I think I'm all right. We got ourselves a heck of a lot of stuff. All that matters is the flickering torch you bear. Do we want Hoarder here? We could do the assistance encounters. That's one, two already right there prior to the hospital. And then we can hit the third on the left. And get the candles. 
I do like me the candles, after all. This is no place for decent folk. Bears had a lot of hot takes this week. I'm just artificially increasing chat engagement, let's be real. I've never once in my life held an actual strong opinion. I'm trying to figure out what that might even be. Even when I told you I hated Zelda, I was being maybe 5% serious. In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. I don't need that. When deliberation is exhausted, trust your instinct. Another bonus candle for the study. On the familiar desk. All right, then. Hot take, what's your favorite shade of blue? Cobalt. I remember when I had one of those, like, giant 64 packs of Crayola crayons in grade school. And I tried to, like, I was using basically every color except that one, and I tried to preserve it. The spoils. An artifact of unparalleled power. For as long as I could. And have it remain an untouched crayon in the box. And I was successful. Not once did I use that crayon, despite the temptation, because it looks so good. I just didn't want to ruin it. That's probably better than Death's Head on the Occultist. Yeah. I think we'll do that. You want some damage coming out of him after all? I feel like I gotta equip this on somebody. It does feel best on him. I just. Just for the sake of it being so fitting, not to mention it's our first encounter with death, that feels obligatory. We'll keep it on him for now. Finally met death. Yeah, it'd been a while. That was everything I wanted it to be. We do not, or no, we do have the uh, carriage lamps equipped still, so I'm hoping that uh, this oblivion might be resisted. Look upon their noble struggle and be humbled by it. Blue mana blue? That's a pretty solid one for sure. That's up there. This hell, you know, a flagellant relationship is the destination unfortunately, unfortunately not looking great. Only the route you take to get there. I think we might have resisted one just now. Wasn't there supposed to be another one right after that? That's nice. The loathing festers. I'll take it. Grab that too, almost. Almost. All right, I'm very excited for this hospital, though. Get rid of those diseases. Get rid of some of these negative quirks. Maybe even lock something in. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. Damn right. Let's see here. Is there anything we want to lock into anyone real quick? Tactical thinker is quite good. Already got the jinx, of course. Death seeker? Plus 15% resolute chance? Full stress heal on death's door? That was certainly a compliment to his having death's head, wasn't it? Oh, this guy's real happy on death's door. No wonder he survives so frequently. Light sensitive is pretty bad. Soft, obviously, should get rid of that. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. Nothing really seems worth locking in, though, to be honest. I think I'm just going to go. Call that good. Let's hit the final assistance encounter and go grab those bonus candles. I know the hoarder's tempting here, too, but I want to make sure I get it. Lost and desperate. They need your help. Hopefully we'll be able to get some good stuff out of the final inn here, having gotten so many... Having saved so many, uh... Resources. Hey, Colbert. 
the worst kind of parasite. Opportunists. How's the infernal flame feel? Honestly, it's not that bad. The weaken has been easily the most noticeable element. The lack of HP hasn't been all that awful. I think we're doing just fine with it. Okie dokie. Taunt time. Goodness, we're gonna stress heal with that now. Amazing. I think I like a vulnerability hex here, actually. Chance for the stun, too, of course. Oh, yeah, he's not feeling too good all of a sudden, huh? Whoopsie daisy. Get the regen going. I really should just be using those crits. She keeps stacking up more than she can utilize. Yeah, you can resist the battle start weaken. It's been happening fairly frequently for us, actually. You can come on up. I think I'll just let that guy die to the blight. And still weaken on the judgment, unfortunately, but it is still definitely worth going for. Almost. Oh, the burn will do it. Nice. This is indeed a one shot. Yet another weaken. Wow. I'll probably be a vulnerability hex here. Thankfully, resisted the stun finally. Another stun. Beautiful. Miss it. Tempting to set up adrenaline rush. Oh, why did I not do a howling in there? That was dumb. That was silly. She is a force. My goodness. A steady subtraction, an invariable result. Okay, certainly don't want to taunt now. That's what you should have done to just kill that dude in one hit. That seems pretty effective, doesn't it? Hey, Nexus. One less obstacle in our path. Oh man, I really thought death was gonna show up again for a second there. I was totally welcoming it. Scavenge what you can and be off once more. I am crossing my fingers that we maybe get the double death run today. Do we have any more hero goals to worry about? Still looking to kill Gentry, I guess, but I'm probably not going to be able to do that. Off chance of running into a pig here, but I doubt it. I don't think that's actually possible, in fact. Bear, stop inviting many bosses in successful runs. You know what happens. 5% of the time. And you're here telling me that 5% chances trigger frequently? Ignore that that's 15. I thought it was 5 this one's five. No, this one's ten. Okay, anyway, point stands. Uh, no, I don't need the wheels. Let's try that. Got enough torchlight anyway. That's worth it. That's not. But that's also not even worth it, so bye-bye. Taunt doesn't really matter for us at the end. Oh, we should do... I guess both ways are bonus candles. Let's, let's try this way. We venture blindly forth at the mercy of the road. That's what I was worried about. Dangers. I just have to go lair to. Oh no, never mind. We're gonna have to go middle just to, to its last. just to hope that it's not gonna be a repair fight. We have oblivion here as well. Hmm. All right. relationships looking. I know we need flagellant hellion work still. We'll do this. Belt the wheels. Roll, roll around on tank treads. Alright, thankfully 
nearly as problematic of a uh, of an oblivion encounter here. Keep the taunts ready. Almost time for your yearly XCOM obsession. That reminds me, they came out with a new freaking mistimed Mario Rabbids game, didn't they? I know that was a while ago now. Stupendous. But I was so happy to see that that game got a sequel. That game was really good. I was very impressed with it. I'm not even check it out. An interview released before the game went out on early access had the game's creative director, Chris Barasa, cite Fury as a main inspiration for Darkest Dungeon 2. Going so far as to say, truth be told, we almost made DD2 about a sci fi tank crew. I want to see the source. That's a very interesting statement. An opportunity squandered. You got a link on that bad boy? A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Also, I think they're talking about Fury. F U R I. Is the game they might be referring to? If I could Google it correctly. Doo, 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 doo. Are you sure you want the link? The, 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 the thing I said, I believe, is provide the link. So yeah, I think, I think that's what I want. I'll double check with my brain. Yep. You, yeah? Oh, you want? Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Oh, damn, straight from the Epic Game Store page. Well, sure enough. Source provided. That's very interesting. Okay, you're dead. Let's do this. Big old crit. A brilliant conclusion. Or you know, like a normal size crit, I guess. That's also acceptable. Oh, Fury the movie, not a game. Okay, I was thinking of a totally different thing then. You want the link, but I thought you didn't like Tears of the Kingdom. Plus two. Minus one link. Eh, it's not going to do much, is it? Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. There you go, buddy. Eh, take a chance. This fight went pretty well. Writ large. Please with this outcome. I only got one more stress heal at the end there. That's okay. This makes me very confident. We are the flame. All right. Burning brightly for all the world to see. No further loot necessary. Simply allow me to proceed. Lord, I don't have nearly strong enough of an opinion on the game to actually expound upon it, to be honest with you. I've played so little that my opinion on the new Zelda is moot. Uh, let's go that way. Just begging and pleading for the shields to be preserved here. Take it easy on me, huh? Something nice and simple. Thanks. That no, that's fair. Honestly, I, I get it. You gotta do, you gotta make it look a little impartial, right? Still gets the kill with the howling end. Oh my god, and the blood. 
I'll take it. Mm, endure, sure. A simple kindness. Finally, use our upgraded endure here. Chance for a little regen. I might even cheese this a little, dude. Then get a little bear cheese in here. A small reprieve from this carousel of horrors. Mm-hmm. Toe to toe time. Brilliant. Sanctuary stress heal. This is going quite well. Bye-bye. Thought you didn't like cheese. Okay, I got it right. Let it die. But I better not say anything else lest it come back to bite me in the butt in an hour. No more opinions. Lest ye be forced to defend them in context. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, sure. Glad you understand. I mean, yeah, it's reasonable. Amidst the spoils, hmm. an artifact of unparalleled power. Hmm. <laughs> nah. Nah. A simple choice. Back. At least it should be. Rouse, spouse. Seventy months. Well, welcome back. Glad to have you back. Thanks for keeping the long-term sub up. Appreciate it. Bear hugs, please, for him. That's what friends are for, right, Cookie? This unkempt study evokes a feeling of the familiar, does it not? What an enchanting shade of red. Fitting. The loathing festers. I'll give him minus one stress on death's door. Sure. Hey, Metro, welcome. Yeah, might as well use these, huh? Same with a lot of them, actually. I don't know why I still have those. Uh, bear traps, dump the burn salve, call it good. I think we are at the exemplar already. Oh my god. Stumbling and grasping. Okay. Shadows of what they once were. Get ready for action, dude. Quick little impervious ordained ghoul prior to that. MBD. Oh, that was not the right target. Whoops. Oh, well. Well, if we do this, it is, right? Eh, give it a try. Oh, bear optimal. Let's do that. And then do that. There we go. Ow. Oh. God damn it. All right, clears one of the blocks at least, and then let's go like this. Oh, he has a crit. Nice. What happened to the flagellant? He's, he's a little worse for wear these days. He got a owie. All over him. Yeah, good enough. He's on keto. Mm, probably not going to do it. This one's clear block. And boom! How are we going to get rid of this stress, though? That's a little too much for my liking. I guess we should probably go ahead and do this, shouldn't we? A small reprieve from this carousel of horrors. I don't know why I wasted the crit there. That was really silly. It did stress you a lot. I guess that's pretty good. Another resisted stress there. Just a point for him. God damn you. Might as well get those glimmers out. Consecration on the right guy. There we go. 
That'll work. Yet another crit. Holy shit. Could use a lot in them here, too. Oh my goodness, and the stress heals all day. All right. That went extremely well. Oh my goodness. Go team, go. The unrelenting application of violence yields morbid gain. Three points of stress and a mastery point. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. And just the exemplar. Rushing it yet again. This team proving they've got what it takes to go the distance. Let's get these final combat items set here. No need for the glimmer, of course. Let's go for the uh, the salves, I suppose. Now let's just use the bear trap, and this is all good for our end game combat stuff. Hit it! Yeah, sit up a little bit. Take his take him slay. Oh, just kidding. He's not even ordained. Back into the void. Slink back into the chair, bud. This ain't this ain't the real deal. This is baby exemplar. Little bitty baby exemplar. Oh no. Well, let's kill this dude. Not even the altar is ordained, man. What the fuck? It's not even fair. Yeah, you do your worst, pal. Let's see what you got. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Here's the taunts. He's gonna stop our uh our pursuit of killing the altar here, unfortunately. I guess we can do that. Oh, Abyssal does it, though. There we go. No sacrifice for you, buddy. Sorry. Cooperation is the key. I think I might actually keep the death cap spores for the focus. Oh, wait, no, it's not got death door resistance, so. That would be a waste. There goes half its HP. Give a couple taunts up for fun, see how that goes. Three and two. By accumulation. I feel like you want to do like that amount, like those two digits, but sequentially in the same attack would probably be better. A master stroke. I feel like you might have made a mistake there, buddy. Uh-oh. Here's me getting greedy again, huh? I might as well. I'm pretty sure he just burned through that entire debuff in the previous round, though, didn't he? A little too early in the utilization. Oh, well. Is Acid Rain better? It is. It's Stress Heals. Oh, that's on the Vestal, though. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's not be dumb. Relief comes rarely in these times. He does seem to be getting multi-hit targeted on occasion, so prevent that madness from getting any worse. Get the more and more back up here. A little stress on the occultist again, and then just bring him down to death door with the 25 damage crit wicked hack. That'll work. Cool. Sweet reprieve until the next test is put before you. Give me that, give me that, see you later. Done deal, moving on. The loathing whispers. Yeah, honestly, the exemplar should always be ordained. <laughs> I don't know why that's even a thing. Unordained exemplar is uh, kind of a pushover. And there we go. Another songbook, that is unfortunately not fantastic, given the melophobic, but I'll take it. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. Ew. It is safe here. Soft again on Sakamai. Ooh, that's really bad on our 
finds one actually. Your coach is laden. You can carry no more. Let's see if we get a chance to remove that here. Conventional fare. Nope. But fairly priced. That sucks. Wind chimes though, I might actually get those. There is nothing for it now but to press on. Come what may. So clearly don't need this anymore. I suppose I might as well equip that. Your academic instincts serve you well. Ice box, probably not gonna be necessary anymore. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. Although I guess the stacking for relics and baubles will be a lot less meaningful after this. Oh, I want wind chimes too. Hold on. Anything that lets us travel further is worth the cost. So we do that, and then probably gonna be able to do this as well. Put it on and be off. The mountain will not be denied. There's our pig, of course, here. I think the songbook is still worth it. What are they at? Oh, never mind. Yeah, let me just get rid of that now. No thanks. Apples and cheese. Big pig in a second, anyway. There's very little for relationship stuff here, unfortunately. I think I get one more glimmer. Boy, this is a pretty shitty final end. Not a lot of value here. I don't know what to even spend the relics on, I guess. Laudanum? Better than nothing. There you go, Vestal. And then... Keep the salves, I guess. And might as well get, like, some bandages, sure. Why not? I'm sure those will be useful. Food for the resolute chance? That's pretty much all we got left to buy, isn't it? Might as well, because that does get us to... Nah, I mean, it's not really going to matter. Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. I'm not going to be able to have enough. And I clearly needed to eat the food anyway. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. It's pretty damn unlikely that I find food between here and the final fight. Drums, I guess? I mean, those aren't even all that great. Wind seed. Shimmering, anti-venom. Yeah, that doesn't really matter. One learns quickly when survival demands it. More and more is probably worth getting at this point. We are definitely going to use that. Actually, that's not really worth it considering the heal is a lot less effective. Hmm. Oh, I should do burning stars. It's time for burning stars now, I think. I think I swap Abyssal and Weakening Curse for Chaotic and Burning Stars here. Judgment. Maybe Wicked Hack? Probably Wicked Hack, yeah. Okay. That's very good. We want stimulating on, I believe, our occultist in order to allow him to do demons pull more frequently and adjust the position of the uh, of the eye stalks. And if that's going to be the case, I think we want to move the Flagellant to the front rank for that fight. That is how it works, right? I'm still kind of confused about that, but I'm fairly sure that the application of the um, token is based on the position of the enemy eye stock, right? So, like, the rank one eye stock will apply it to rank one in your team, etc., etc. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's what I'm basing it on for the most part, anyway. Um, so, yeah. 
Let's go ahead and get into that, I guess. 14 speed will allow for that. Whiskey flasks can get us to... Eh, I guess it's the only relationship to fix, so I might as well go for that. Sadly, that's just shy of the uh, very friendly threshold there, so I'm not going to get much better, but that's okay. Oh, wait, taunt works again? Oh, shit. Didn't know that. Well, that changes things. I was under the impression that taunt no longer worked on these guys. I don't think stun is really going to matter here, but I might as well give him full stun resist. Yeah, I think you might be thinking of the previous iteration of this fight that taunt affected it. He's not melophobic, right? I suppose I might as well give him move resist too. A bit of comfort on the road to damnation. And since we don't have anything else to spend the relics on, sure. Why not? Cool. Uh another glimmer, fine. Anti-venom, I guess. Shimmering powder? Sure. Fuck it. Cool. Okay. That'll work. It was a stealth update in the last update. Oh. Well, okay then. That's really good. Let's get our combat items sorted for the uh, actual next fight here. And then I think we're ready. Well, let's do it. I'll take it. Almost certainly hopeful across the board here. Punish and toe to toe will stress heal is pretty nice. Fester, Demon's Pull. Demon's Pull, obviously, really nice. The stress healing really is not... If I could pick the benefit, that might be among the last we choose for this. A bond to be counted on. We're actually looking for the uh, flagellant to get stressed out here. That is really good, though. Divine Comfort and Abyssal Artillery will each add a dodge plus. That is, that is pretty awesome. All right, y'all. This may be the most difficult of the five chapters to complete right now. So that means we're going to need some bear rolls. At last, the great ziggurat. Temple of failure and regret. Let the bear rolls fly in the chat. Power the conclusion. Chapter three. We certainly are looking good with our seven blood, two otherworldly fragments, and a couple of unnatural pigments to complement those. I'll be able to take full advantage of that. And now we got a couple of Oblivion's ramparts to clear. Slash ingress. Let's do it. I think we can manage. Alright, this is... I mean, without an altar, I'm feeling pretty good. As long as they don't have an altar. I think we're going to be okay. And let's go ahead and, well, start with this, I suppose. Since this will likely allow for a pretty brilliant iron swan hit on the cherub. And unlikely to need the taunt here, actually, considering she's almost certainly going to be targeting the front two no matter what. Maybe to control him a little bit, but I don't think it's actually necessary here. Bravo. We're going to be a lot better off just trying to kill this cherub more quickly. Speaking of which, that'll do it. All right, cherub down. Now we go for you. Stress heal off that as well. Outstanding. Let's go ahead and go for the dodge plus again. Seems good. Howling in. Free pip, why not? This 
is no time to falter. Jinx blind, outstanding. See if we can get ourselves a little death's door going. Should be able to prevent the worship here. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. All right, now we obviously are going to be trying to get rid of a little bit of the stress here. Let's do so now. Actually, let's uh, let's do this. Probably do that. Born DOT going, and then we get a crit up front too. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take it. A brilliant conclusion. Hot damn. And Toto -to Totan to prevent that. Also, maybe get rid of this bleed. This wound, at least, has been tended to. Stop this dude from getting brought down to death's door, which honestly might not even be a problem. I think he'd rather, or I think we'd rather even do that right now. Okay, so can we stress heal? Sakamai will stress heal from that. Mm, let's see. Let's get the stress heal. Yeah, stress heal on him, I guess. Not to mention that's death's door on this thing as well. No further stress heals, unfortunately. We do have another lot in them, I guess. Might as well do that. Comfort in company. Okay. A little deathless at the end here, too. Fix us right up. Sounds good. Don't you dare survive that. Come on now. Have their Get out of here. Even the big ones. We got barrel rolls to spam. I don't got time for this anymore. We're moving on. Get the glimmers in there. Probably just dump the anti-venom at this point. Keep the bandage, keep the law on them looking good. Let's do it. Round two. One stress point, full HP. That is a pretty nice, pretty nice looking situation right there. Oh, I actually, <laughs> the t maybe the actual smallest misplay possible in that I could have gotten an additional pip between the flagellant and the Hellion there, which would of course given us a bigger cushion to utilize in the final fight. Probably not even worth mentioning. Although I'm certain somebody was aware of it, so I had to make sure they knew that I knew too. I too am aware of my own failures. That's a heck of a starting blind there, nice. Wow, there we go. So far so good. Oh, you know what? Yeah, there, there's really not a lot of value to that at all, is there? I don't know why I thought pips would matter in the final fight. Yeah, their relationship could be as sour as they want. It doesn't really matter at all. An unavoidable end. True that. But we can still count it as a misplay anyway. Lethality writ large. Just for fun. She's dead. That'll work. Full torchlight. Time to blight, baby. Okay. The smallest variable can make all the difference. Okay, so we're now looking to lower the flagellant stress as much as possible. Shouldn't be too tough. Man, if I can get out of here with zero stress, that would be a pretty outstanding feeling. It does seem actually doable. One there. I don't think he's got a stress heal. He does. Holy shit. That's pretty great. He might even be able to do a deathless here. Uh, let's go you. Judgment again. I like it. Can't do the pull this time, unfortunately, but we can do that, which sadly is not the right stress heal. There we go. That is one point of stress for the entire squad moving into the final battle. That Those are acceptable conditions. A spark. That'll work. Okay, so let's, let's big brain this real quick. 
the ideal outcome with the combination of these items is to use two blood on the same person who will then not use either of those tokens or all any of those three of those tokens and will then allow the unnatural pigment to copy those tokens. So we want the blood on the two fastest characters, a.k.a. the occultist and the vestal. And I am probably just going to have to give up the fisherman's net benefit here, which makes me realize this was not worth keeping, unfortunately, but that's not really a big deal. Um, so then we would do the pigment, I suppose, on the Hellion. Oh, it's enemy only. You're right. How did I not realize that until now? Ah, shit. Well, the thing is, Fault steals tokens, right? If the Fault steals all of those blood tokens, it still might be good. This might still be good no matter what. Yeah, it was a fun plan, although it did fall apart right at the end, but... Honestly, it might be okay. Does he have piercing on this? I don't think so, does he? If it crits you and steals your tokens, you can copy them. Yeah, that might, that might be worth it. I think that might be worthwhile. Yeah, we're going to swap these guys. I don't think I'm going to use the weakening curse anymore, so we'll go like this. Van B. Thank you for the 20 months. Welcome back in. Appreciate it. Actually, I think I... Oh, no. Yeah, we definitely need the pull. That's right. Got to keep the pull. Um, I think this is all good. I'm good with these skills. I think we're ready. Let's do it. Actually, I don't. I th I think the I think the salves are better than the pigment. No, they're not because the the healing becomes less effective as this fight goes on. In fact, the pigment is definitely better than the salve in this case because we want to make sure we get as fast or damage out as fast as we possibly can. And assuming he's gonna probably steal our tokens at some point, that'd be a good way to get him back. The nightmare gate is revealed. I like it. Beyond. Only infernal nihility and non-existence. Let's go! All right. Chaotic Offering is actually a good start here. Obviously, the chance of him burning himself is not ideal, but if we can get some burning stars ready for phase two seems ideal. And this does look like that's the way that works. Oh, man. Getting some negative tokens on them might actually be pretty good, too. I'm fine with the Divine Comfort start as well. We could, of course, stockpile some strength and crit with the uh, Consecration. In fact, very likely to actually try to do that. Let's see. So we want the Taunts, which, again, I'm not really sure if that actually matters. But we'll try. And then I'm going to Howling End the front rank here in an attempt to A, kill it, and then B, knock her back to allow him to be in the front rank. And therefore, we'll be able to pull forward with the Occultist and force this guy to target the um, Flagellant. Of course, we got to kill him prior to that. And that should make it... So we have the forced observation on the flagellant. We actually already have three of the symbols here, so this is a phenomenal start. Yeah, this is, this is actually going really, really well so far. Um, we could do this. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. Because even if she gets marked by it, that's actually maybe even better. And let's get toward Toxic, too. There is comfort in company. Okay. This is pretty damn good. Just in case. Just in case we need to kill him. But I doubt it. Consecration's certainly looking great. 
That's fine. It's not ideal. I think I would definitely rather have all four in the flagellant, but if he transforms here, I'm out. I'm completely okay with that. And it looks like that's what's going to happen, and I I think I go ahead and welcome it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good. Let's head it. Phase two. Obsessions on shrinking days. Focus to a fault. All right. And now, the greatest test of all. Let's see what all that prep work results in here. Right, so we have Death's Head on the Flagellant still, so we're fully prepared for Death's Door hits. Have not yet cost us any healing. Trying to think. We already have a combo on there. No need to pigment just yet. Taunt doesn't matter. Pretty sure we just take all the damage we can get. All right, so speed obviously sucks here. He's going to get in a quick hit. Sacrifice bestows an uncertain absolution. That's just real shitty. That's just real, real shitty, dude. First hit, goodbye. Yeah. Well done. That's a huge bummer, dude. Yeah, they really wanted him dead there. I mean, I guess we take the heal now, right? Fellowship forged through toil. Yeah, he had something like 80 or 90% death store resistance there. And I mean, look at how quickly we were making this happen, too. With the flagellant, obviously, it'd be even easier. Uh, yeah, we were gonna we were gonna absolutely destroy this guy just now. And he just decides that the flagellant doesn't get to live. And that's where the challenge ended. Now, Antro, you misunderstand. See, the entire pursuit here was attempting to keep all four heroes alive. So that has failed. And we're going to have to restart. Yeah, salves were better. It did feel like the safer play. I think we had a chance to use a salve, too, if we had set that up that way, but what are you going to do? It just feels real shitty, man. Like, I'm kicking his ass. That's what's the most frustrating thing by far. Even now, I'm like, yeah, no, you killed too, but I'm still going to kick the shit out of you. That has not changed. A master stroke. You're still dying, buddy. I'll give him a meltdown real quick for funsies. Later. Obsession blinded you to your blessings and smothered you in a fever dream of dissatisfaction. That is that is super disappointing. Oh well. The Odyssey strengthens you. So is this a win or no? Well, at the risk of repeating myself for a third time, no, <laughs> it's not. Because as I've stated, the objective here was to defeat all we five chapters with the same the team. We are no dimensions. longer able to do that. Of human weakness. We have failed the challenge. We did get some candles, which is nice, but we are going to have to reset our pursuit here. To recall a thing is to make it real once more. Oh, as far as your bear bucks go, yeah, that's a win. I should have guessed that was what you were concerned about. <laughs> but what about my money, bear? I know, I know you feel terrible and like a complete failure, but don't I get my bear bucks still? You do. Congrats, a yes. A little more light, a little more strength. Enjoy that. I do want to get the rest of these paths. The true splendor of a world. Those who live within it. And then let's get a few items for the next run, I guess. Spare a thought for tools of iron. 
Such implements will serve us well. Yeah, new team. We'll have a new strategy next time. See if we can do something that'll be a little more reliable for the third battle, I guess. Although, to be honest with you, that felt great. In a sea of madness. I absolutely felt like we had a strong team to go up against him. It just didn't work out that time. Serrated Cat, by the way, a pretty nice uh, trinket to have him locked there. I like that. Let's go for two combat and two in and call it good. Every nice. recollection is another implement at our disposal. That's a fun one. Knockback three at a mobilized token could be devastating to some of those uh some of those cultist enemies. In Wilbur's flag in the science of survival. Yay. This one hilarious to me and that only the back two ranks are allowed to use it. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. Pretty nice uh, in item here, the blasphemicidal, and then finally. Pretty good. Oh, they buffed this. That's actually really good now. Wow. Four stress healed and a relationship hit for two targets. Poetry, really good all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah, you can do them in any order, so we might. As fleeting as a dying star. We might consider starting off on chapter three next time. It's not a bad idea. That is. Definitely going to have to wait for next time, though. All right, well, not the ending we were looking for. Still got the Pyrrhic victory, I guess, but we'll have to start off a pursuit of the Grand Slam with a brand new squad next time. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Appreciate that a lot. We'll see you next time.